Hey, what's going on guys? Get back in a video and today, actually for another tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod flashing lights. Um, so here we go guys. So what you're going to want to start off by doing here is you want to go ahead and go over here and you want to go ahead and create a new folder. So then you're going to go ahead and want to name that, um, whatever you want. Well, like, name it like, I would not to like boss you guys around but I would not name that um anything you want I would name it like and I'm just gonna go and delete that so I can edit the name here but um you want to go ahead and name it skins or liveries okay so now that you have skins or liveries there hopefully you guys can see that good there I'm gonna go ahead and like make this a little bigger here so you guys can see more of it um, but see it closer there. Okay, so now that you got that, guys. So you know what? I'm just gonna have to make that. Sorry if you guys can't see everything good here. But here you got your skins or livery folder. Um, whatever you'd like to call it. I just called it skins or livery. Now you want to go ahead and go over to the flmods.com link in the description. Um, and you want to find a mod that you might want to use. So I'm gonna look for a mod here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops. So I'm gonna just type in, um, like, I don't know, YouTube. See if we get anything. See what we got in for YouTube here. Actually, you know what? There's been one I really wanted, and that was Park Ranger. And I've I did a series. I stopped it though, but I want to get it back. So I don't really like this one. Oops. So I'm gonna go back there. Uh, I do like. This one, though. Oh. It's not what I thought it was. Okay, so, this is good enough, I think. Let's see. Yes, but I want a pack for it, though. So, I'm gonna go back here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and search for mod. Um, pick any one you want. Okay, so this is good. Okay, so also I like to scan for viruses. Go ahead and scan it if you prefer to. But wait till it like finishes downloading here. Okay, it is done downloading. And this is only a charger, unfortunately. But that's okay for this to this like i got a bunch of i already got a bunch of skins and stuff um but uh yeah so so go ahead and just scan that there um Okay, so we got no threats. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do, guys, is you want to go ahead and install ABE or Unity Asset Bundle Extractor 2.2 Stable D. Now I'll link in the description for this too. So, um, do you have a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit? Um, you can find that in the settings. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version. Here we go, guys. So now that we have this, you want to leave this for now. And we're going to open up ABE. Okay, so now that you have that, should... Okay, so what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and open it. And you want to go ahead and put this, and you want to...
Um, sorry, you don't want to do that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go into your files. You want to go ahead and put that in desktop. Now, when you go into your desktop, it should be, it's right here. Okay, so now you want to create a new folder and you want to name it ABE for short. Or you can name it Asset Bundle Extractor, but I'm going to name it ABE for short. Okay, so I'm going to have to name it ABE2, because I already have an ABE folder. Um, so now you want to go ahead and drag that in there. There you go. Now when you open up this folder, you'll have this. You want to click on it, and it will bring you to this. You want to click 64-bit. You want to go, to, you want to look down for Asset Bundle Extractor. It should be an application. Then this will pop up. Okay, so now that you have that, you want to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and redo this here because I already have it. So I'm going to use the one I already have. It's an application. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to go into Steam. And you want to go ahead and go to your flashing lights. Right here you got flashing lights. And you want to go over to manage. This little gear here. And you want to go to properties you want to click properties and go to local files and guys make sure you create a new folder now let's go and create a new folder let's call this flashing light back up fl backup so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go two you want to continue with that and you want to browse the local files and you want to go ahead and browse okay now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click and pin to quick access i already have it pinned to quick access right here um so and I'm gonna go back to where I was there. You want to go ahead and click this. And what you wanna do is you wanna look for resources or resource dot assets. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep scrolling here. Okay, another so it's near a screen selector here. So we got resources dot assets. You want to go ahead and press Control C, or you can do it the long way and press. Uh, you can right click and then press Copy here. Now, it's my bad. Do not do that. Whatever you do, do not do that. <laughs> so just con Control C, because if you do that, you're gonna have this, and you do not want that. You just, okay, so you want to press, you want to click on this, and you want to press control C. So you want to click on the resources.assets and press control C on your keyboard. Now you want to go ahead and go into the FL backup, and you want to press control V. Control V. And then there, there's your backup. And you want to make sure you keep this folder. Okay, so now that you have that, um, um, and you can just keep these folders. Now you want to go into your skins or liveries, um, whatever you called it, and you want to go down to your downloads. For some reason it shows me everything. But you want asset bundle, oh sorry, you want this right here, and you want to bring this down to desktop. So put that in the desktop, and it should show up. It, uh, here it is so this is what it looks like and now what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to put it in skins or liveries whatever you named it and then it should be right in there so now what you want to do is you want to go to you want to um bring this back up the unity assets bundle extractor that we opened um a while ago you want to press open Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you want to press open. You want to press. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to press file, open. Then you want to look for your flashing lights underscore data. 
which is what you um, pin to quick access. So now you want to go down and you want to look for the screen selector. That's the easiest way. Then you want to look for resources.assets. Here we go. So now you want to go and click on that and press open or you can just double click it. For me, I'm going to go ahead and press open. It will open. Then here you've got this. So now you want to press name and type once. And now guys, you're going to have to get this here. So you'll see this in the video description here. So you're going to see this link too here in the video description. Um, you need vehicle class names. So go ahead and click that in the video description. And you want to look for this. So you see police underscore two underscore body underscore D. You want to co copy that. Don't add a space. Make sure there's no space there. And if you do get a space, that's okay. Just go ahead and delete that when you put it in. And also do not get this dash marked. You do not want that. So you want to go ahead and press control C. Or what you can do is you can go ahead and right click and press copy. Now you want to go ahead and go to view, search by name, control V, or you can go ahead and paste it in. But you only want one of them. You're going to find it. Make sure, guys, this is a texture 2D. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go into um, plugins right down here. You want to press edit, load. Um, you want to look for your skins or liberties folder. It should be, if it's not there, guys, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put this right here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just put it right there. Okay, so I just pinned it to quick access, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Oops, go back to where I was. In this, you just want to go ahead and delete. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and go over. Oh my. Okay, well, just take that, whatever you put in there, and make sure it's there. If, you, if it's not there, go ahead and right click it and press um, pin to quick access. And then, okay. So now you got, this is all the skins I have. And I'm under charger, so I'm going to look for a quick charger skin that I have in here. I have a lot of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. I'm going to press open. Okay. So, and then you want to, okay, so you pressed okay. Now you want to press okay again. It's going to ask you if you want to save. Yes, you do. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to create a new folder and name it skin save. Or liberty save, whatever you named it. I already have skin save, so I'm going to have to name it skin save too. And I'm going to go ahead and right click it and pin it to quick access. Okay, so now you'll find skin save too. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my skin save folder. Save it. And then this will do get... Okay, so now that it, that disappeared on its own, you want to go ahead and close out of... Whoops. You want to go ahead and close out of this and this. And then you have your folders. Now you, what you want to do is you want to go into your um, file explorer. Which I'm going to go and delete this here. <coughs> Not delete it, but close out a bit. Then you want to go into your skin save folder. You want to drag resources.assets into your flashing lights underscore data. And it will ask... The destination already has a file named resources.assets. Replace the file in the destination is what you would like, what you want to press, and there you go. Okay, so now that you have all that, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of this because I already have all this, and I don't really keep a backup anymore because I, um, I'm pretty good at it, so I don't really keep the backup. Um, but it is good if you're not if you're new to this, it you should keep a backup. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and go open up your flashing lights. And then you can configure it to whatever you want. You probably already have it configured. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And it should load. 
So, um, here we go. So, now this will work on the newer version of the map too. But for tutor tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna go to this one so I don't have to take extra time away from here. Take like extra steps to, and take away some more time for you guys. So. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and look, just go ahead and create your avatar, whatever you want. Like you got the customization and stuff. You probably already know that if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do whatever. Just gonna go ahead and click it, just for tutorial purposes. I'm just gonna go ahead and click it and continue. And here we go, we are in it game. And right now I don't have any mods on the police because I had to re currently restart, like reinstall my game because I tried to install a charger. Go over there, and there you go, guys. This wasn't the one I had in mind, but I had a little bit of a problem with it, and there you go. Now, guys, there's also EMS and fire department class names in that vehicle class names. Um, so you can have, like, fire department and EMS. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the fire and EMS um, vehicles I have in there in just a second once this loads. So. For the current moment, I have self natural fire and rescue, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I didn't I don't really customize for tutorials. You go, you got all this stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and go over to here. Okay, so now that we got we got this car, uh, you can edit those lights. This car, this car. Which doesn't have a self metro fire and rescue livery. You got this one, which is my favorite vehicle, and you got the ladder. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and show you now the EMS vehicles. I had a I had a little bit of an error doing the um, medic ones, which I would recommend not doing. EMS right now, um, but if you think you can do it, you can go ahead and do it, but um, if you don't think you'll be able to do it, I would wait till I make a tutorial on it, because this is what happened. Here, South Metro Fire and Rescue. Here, default game. <laughs> so I had to rework with it, and I'm gonna have to rework with that still, but um, it's okay. So we got Medic 1. I mean, nothing for the Tahoe. Uh, there should be something for the Explorer, I don't know. Oh, right, I didn't do the Explorer, that's right. And then here you got the South Metro Fire and Rescue, and here you only have half of it. Let's just go ahead and save and exit here. Um, but, yeah. So that has been this tutorial video, guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure you smash that button. Also, turn on notifications. Also, guys, make sure you check out my website that dropped the other day. Um, during the stream, I uploaded it. And, uh, yeah. So. Anyway, guys. Till the next upload. Gary Gaming out. Peace.